Hey y'all, this is Church of Caboose. For today's Destiny 2 video, we are talking about Fractal Lines and the Empyrean Initiative and how you can use these materials to your advantage. We're also going to be trying to clear up perhaps some confusion you may have about the whole Fractal Line and how the Empyrean Initiative and the community events and all that stuff works because I was very confused and was getting myself all kinds of in my own head and wrapped around and I thought it might be nifty to break down what I have learned from for you guys so that way it's just easier going into this whole new event to know what to expect but the first thing you guys need to know is in order to donate fractal line to the Empyrean initiative you have to complete a quest this is a rather short quest but it's very essential because you will not be able to get the triumphs or help out in the community events unless you complete the quest so before you try and find the quest Make sure you are on whatever character you did all the Osiris and St. 14 quest lines for. You should have had about three or four. So as long as you went through all those quests on one character, just pick that character and you're good. If you don't, you will have issues or could have issues with being able to access and pick up the quest. To pick up the quest, go to St. 14 in the tower. Just go visit him. You grab the quest and he will tell you to go off and beat the new boss in the sundial. I would try to say this boss's name. But I am horrible at saying things, and so I think we all probably know who I am talking about. But the boss is seen on screen. You find him in the quarters of time. And if this boss is like any other Sundial boss, this boss will be around for the week of February 4th. And then when Crimson Days comes around, it will be a different Sundial boss. So make sure you guys are getting this quest line done the week of February 4th as I'm recording uh, this video. So I would suggest for this boss, you do the boss on Legend, especially if you are in the 970 or higher coal region. Because if you are trying to finish the title, you have to beat this boss on Legend. So you can get a 3 for 1, you can do the quest line step, you can get 2 triumphs done as well for your title if you beat this boss on Legend. Uh, but if you're trying to do this purely for speed, then just do the regular matchmaking sundial event and you'll get him over with in no time. I could tell you a little bit about how the boss works, but it's kind of cool. Um, so just, just know you have to use plates. Stand on some plates, and that's kind of the key to bring down the shield. There you go. No spoilers. That's that's the only little hints you're going to get, but it's really not that hard. You guys should be fine. All right. Then once you have beaten the boss, your next step will be to collect 30 orbs. I would suggest you just get those orbs of light from Escalation Protocol. Just throw on some Masterwork weapons and uh, run around a horde event, and you will probably get those 30 orbs of light really quickly. You just have to pick them up, so make sure you're using your supers, because if your super is on, you will not be able to pick up orbs of light. So you have to be able to just use your super, grab orbs of light, use your super, grab orbs of light, or else you'll just be sitting on this quest step forever, and you'll probably get really, really annoyed. So make sure you're using your supers before you grab all those orbs of light. Then after that, you just have to go and talk to a couple of different people, including the tower, and Osiris and that's basically the end of the quest now this is a very important quest to do especially if you're trying to get the cool uh, new emblem which I will show you at the end of the video but the main thing to keep in mind is you can really boost your season rank and your artifact rank with this whole Empyrean initiative with donating fractal line so we're just going to show you that real quick all right, so you can see on screen, we got some footage of the Tower Obelisk. This is where you will be turning in your fractal line to donate to the Empyrean Initiative. But you can take some huge advantage of weapon bounties. When you turn in fractal line, it will give you progress towards these weapon time lost weapon bounties. So you don't actually have to go out and do all these ridiculous things like public events or precision kills or what have you. So you just grab a bunch of weapon bounties, turn in your fractal line, and you will eventually complete the bounties. The reason I say eventually is because depending upon your obelisk level, you will have a certain different number of bounty or of, uh, fractal lines to turn in. My obelisks are all at level 10, so I only need to turn in 400 fractal lines, and I finish all of those weapon bounties. If you are under the level 10, I'm not sure how many uh, fractal lines it will take you, so if you want to comment down below how much it took to finish a weapon bounty as well as what le level your obelisk is, that would be great. That would just kind of help us all out to know. 
Uh, the huge advantage for doing the, I guess, Threat Alliance with these weapon bounties is you can fly through season ranks and increase your artifact's power without really having to do anything, and you need to turn in Threat Alliance for this event anyways, at least if you want to contribute towards this community thing. You will be able to see in the director in the directory. So let's go to the Crucible. You can uh, click on the directory tab, whatever thing, and select Crucible. And in the top center area where we're used to seeing Trials of the Nine, you will see the Empyrean Initiative with a little progress bar of seven ticks. Now, as a community, as I am recording this, we have finished the first tier out of seven. The second tier is 700 million fractal lines donated. 700 million. Like, it sounds like a ton, but with how many people there are that play, um, I imagine this will, the second tier will be cleared pretty quickly. A lot of my clan mates think it will be within the week before we finish the entirety of all seven tiers. So that's just kind of what you can get personally out of doing these fractal lines. And uh, this, let's now show you guys the emblem. Oh, just real quick though, um, you see that exotic thing in the consumable? So if you want to upgrade your obelisks more, you have to buy those exotic fractal lines. They take legendary shards and, the, and a lot of glimmer. So if you're not at level 10 for your obelisk, it could be worth leveling it up, especially since every single week, based on your obelisk power level, you will get fractal line back. Um, I've been hearing and finding on the internet, if you're level 10, you get like 4,000 per character back. Uh, just for having your obelisk get level 10. So if you got a lot of legendary shards and glimmer to kill, it wouldn't be the worst thing to grab those exotic fractal lines and you go to the planet, turn it into that obelisk, and you just level up your obelisk that way. I uh, just wanted to mention that here real quick before we move on to the emblem. So now the emblem. At the top of the screen, you can see the new emblem on my character. It is really cool. I think it's really slick looking. Um, I kind of like how it's got like a ring. I don't know. I like Lord of the Rings, so maybe that's why. But I like, I just like how this emblem looks. It tracks how much fractal line you have donated to the Empyrean Initiative. In order to get this emblem, you must donate 5,000 fractal line, a minimum of 5,000. And once you do, just uh, select the triumph, like turn it in or whatever, and you get the emblem. Unfortunately, if you're worrying about the seal like I am, you will not get the triumph in toll. The whole community has met that event where you have to put in all the insane number of fractal lines. So you are not going to be able to get this fractal line until that community or that triumph and therefore the title savior until the community event has been completed. Uh, hopefully that clears up any confusion about that because I was really wondering if I was going to be able to get my savior title done on February 4th and then I got kind of bummed but it's okay. We will, we will get this probably I would not be surprised if it only took a week. For us to finish this whole this whole period initiative i think this is a really cool event uh, i like these things where we kind of have to all come together as a community it gives everyone incentive to participate and contribute at least something and unlike puzzles like the corridors of time it is something everyone can do a lot of people with things like corridors of time such as myself have a very hard time with all the puzzles having the time even to try and sit down and figure out spreadsheets and put in thousands of codes and inputs and work on all that so community events where it's more about doing stuff and like putting in the resource such as the Empyrean initiative is a lot more fun for me and for other things at the corridors at the time it's a little bit more entertaining just to kind of guess how long it will take and to see other people and how they try and figure uh, figure stuff out. So, all right, guys, that kind of con con uh, that concludes. But see, it's a good thing I didn't try to say that uh, that boss name because English is hard. This concludes my video. I hope this clears up any confusion or questions you may have had about fractal lines, um, how your obelisk powers are impacted now, how and why fractal line is a really good thing for you in your own account personally, and a little bit of info about the whole event as a community. I am Church of Caboose. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, leave an emoji with sunglasses. I'm just kind of curious to see if people will, will do these kinds of things. I don't know. To me, it's kind of fun. I am Church of Caboose. Have a great week, and happy grinding, y'all.